this is uh, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38, verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog in the land of Magog. The chief prince of Meshach and Tubal prophesied against him. Ezekiel 38 and 3. And thus saith the Lord, Yahweh thy power. Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. Ezekiel 38 and 4. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. And I will bring thee forth in all thy army and horse and horsemen. All of them clothed for all sorts of armor. Even a great company with bucklers and shields. All of them heavenly swords. Ezekiel 38 and 5. And it reads, Persia, Ethiopia, Libya, with them, all of them, with shield and helmet. Ezekiel 38 and 7. Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togoba, off of the north quarters, and all his bands, and many people with thee. Ezekiel 38 and 7. And it reads, Be thou prepared, and prepare for thyself and all thy companies that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. And this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, uh, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Matthew 24 and 7, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Shalom, first and foremost, let to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say uh, shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a uh, sit-down lesson I want to uh, bring out from the Jerusalem Post. This was a recent news article uh, by Reuters, uh, published March the 22nd, 2023. And it reads... Russia says risk of nuclear conflict at highest level in decades. It says Russian Deputy uh, Foreign Minister Shagif Robovkov said on Wednesday that the probability of a nuclear conflict was at its highest level in decades. Russian new agency reports and right, keep this in mind, while the uh, tensions are uh, stirring up between the Western countries and you have the increasing Russia-Ukraine situation going on, even though uh, Vladimir Putin met, met with uh, pr the president of China trying to have some type of uh, peace plan, but that's not going to be the case. Because one the scripture says, First Thessalonians five and three, for one they shall say peace and safety. So you just know, you know, I just want to add a note to that. But continuing on with the reading, it says um, he also said there could be no talks of secret or open negotiation with Washington on right because the uh, tension between Beijing, I mean, be, between Moscow and, and Russian. Uh, tensions at an all-time high in uh, Russia versus the United States and the uh, Western countries. Tensions at an all-time high as well, too. So I just want to add a note to that. And I'm going to read it again. It says, he also said there could be no talks of secret or open negotiations with Washington on restoring the new START nuclear arms reduction treaty rights with uh, I believe as of last month of uh, Vladimir Putin uh, withdraw from the uh, the. You know that made so kind of six. Oh, they did. Back in twenty eighteen. Mm. You noticed that? Mm mm. I noticed it too. I saw it on my I turned on the Xbox. Right. Looking at games and I saw it so kind of Right. And I'm like, what the fuck? Mm. Sound like release date. And that been, that been a minute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Shit, old man. Sure is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. So, uh, Salaki, I was talking to my brother. So, yeah, uh, what I was actually saying was, you know, what uh, President Vladimir Putin uh, in Russia, they had recently, which was a month ago, they had withdraw from the uh, nuclear treaty. I believe it was going to last up to 2026 all the way to 2027. And then they was trying to renew it uh, to extend it further, longer than that. But uh, Vladimir Putin refused that, so he withdrew from that, and he signed a bill into law to have uh, to draw away, and separate, and withdraw from the uh, nuclear treaty deal what they had with the United States. So yeah, he is right about that. It seemed like it's gonna be no talk or negotiation in regards to that. And I'm gonna read again. He said. He also said there be no talks of secret or open negotiations with uh, Washington on restoring the new START treaty arms reduction treaty, which pulled out of in February. So with that, uh, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was edifying of the reading of this news article right along with the scriptures uh, brought out in reference to this new scripture. As it says, Russian says risk of nuclear conflict at highest level in decades, right? Because you got the uh, Russia-Ukraine situation continues to heat up. And then you got the tensions between Moscow and Washington, Russia versus the United States at all time high as well, too. So definitely the rumors of wars are heating up, nation against nation heating up at all time high as well, too. So with that... I would like to give all praises and glory and honor too to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makar Kadash. Uh, double honors to the elders for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out one to the Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well too. And until next time, I will say shout out one.